Apple Tree Yard Review, A Thriller of Sex, Death and Broom Cupboards Emily Watson's character, Ivan Carmichael, looks out of the window as the vehicle in which she is traveling crosses a bridge over the Thames in London. She reflects on human nature, on the choices we make, how fear turns us into animals. The Thames can make you reflect, although Ivan has more reason to do so than most. She is not on a bus, but in a prisoner transport van possibly operated by G4S. She is cuffed and on the way to court, to be tried for murder. So begins this four-part adaptation of novelist, and Christmas University Challenge finalist, Louise Doughty's psychological thriller Apple Tree Yard, BBC One, Sunday. How did it come to this? Nine months earlier Yvonne, a successful genetic scientist with a comfortable home life, is giving evidence to a select committee at the House of Commons, Afterwards, a handsome stranger, played by Ben Chaplin, offers to show her the chapel and the crypt. They end up having sex, in a broom cupboard, Boris Becker style, although this broom cupboard has a more distinguished history than the one in Abu, it is where the suffragette Emily Davison once hid overnight so she could put down her address as the House of Commons in the census. The stranger is vague about who he is, a civil servant, he says. So, how come he knows so much about security cameras? Possibly a spy, then? Certainly Mr. Risky Frisky Alfresco, with an insatiable appetite for nookie not just in cupboards but any doorway or dark alley. The apple tree yard of the title becomes a favorite spot. It is real, I see, in St. James's, London SW1. I wonder if this will spark a craze for copycat sex a time there. Almost certainly. Anyway, for Yvonne, he is not just good in the cul-de-sac, but awakens something deep in her, something she didn't know was there. Sex with you is like being eaten by a wolf, she writes. And that's good? Well, it puts a new spin on the Little Red Riding Hood story. Actually, make Yvonne the grandmother, because that's marginally less seedy, and she is just about to become a granny, her daughter announces she's pregnant. There is a strong message here that, contrary to what you might be led to believe from every other drama on television, female sexuality doesn't suddenly end at 35, but can become more powerful and more profound. Certainly for Ravana it does, even if it somehow leads her to court. Apple Tree Yard does feel like a very female thing. And that's good. Female in a positive, powerful, celebratory way, too. Although I didn't feel much of a bond with it, or with Carmichael, in spite of Watson's excellent performance. Or with Chaplin either, to be fair, but his is more of a role than a character. This is about her, and because this part is all about how she feels, it would help if I felt more for her. I became a little impatient with all the passion, and Devan's musings. I wanted to know how it led to the back of a police pan and to court. Hurry along and get on with a thriller, in other words. And then something does happen, something horrible and sickening. I hope it's him that she kills. Homeland, Channel 4, Sunday, returns. With Carrie in New York, working not for the CIA, nor for Otto during, but for a non-profit organization that defends Muslims against discrimination. And she is spending more time with her daughter Franny, yeah like that's going to last. It is good to have her, and it, back, even if doesn't quite get going in this first episode. Quinn is the big news. Not dead, remember the chemicals at the end of last series? But not at all well either, PTSD personified. A remarkable transition, and a remarkable performance from Rupert Friend. And there is an incoming POTUS. Homeland once again showing its propensity to be on the pulse and interweave with reality. The president-elect is deeply suspicious of the security services, of Saul Berenson and Dar Adel, and leans towards less military intervention in the Middle East. Bring the troops home. Sounding familiar? But the president-elect is also a she, Elizabeth Keane. Well, if there can't be one in real life, 
maybe, when they were making it before the election they didn't know which way to go, so they went for sort of presidential amalgam, a cross between what could have been and what is. Clompton. Thank you.